What's going on, guys? Um, so, I got a wrap for the car um, because I didn't want to deal with the whole paint situation and stuff like that. Um, so, I got a wrap for it. Um, so, that's what we're going to try to do today. I'm just going to wait for my friend Edward to show up. Uh, meanwhile, I have the hood back there. I brought it upstairs because my garage is a little bit messy right now, and this is literally going to be the first time of... Uh, me rapping and so I have no idea so I brought it upstairs because I feel like it'd be a little bit more cleaner I can take my time and you know uh, I have the table set up already uh, so I'm the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, wash it uh, and then clay bar it and then wipe it down with some alcohol make sure I get all the grease and oil off um, so yeah All right, so I'm done prepping the, the hood. Um, so I clay barred it. Uh, I use this magic clay thing. Um, clay barred it with a dish, with Dawn dish soap. And then I used uh, alcohol. I sprayed it down and I wiped it down um, to make sure there's no oils or anything. And oh my God, like, I forgot how good the paint was on this car. It's probably been like years since this thing's gotten a good a good wash. I mean, the, this whole time I've had it, I've never even buffed it or anything. And God damn, this paint looks so good. It's so glossy. Um, I'm definitely gonna miss it, but oh well. I mean, I could always take the wrap off and get the car. Uh, paint matched. Um, it's no big deal um, Definitely gonna save myself a lot of money by wrapping it myself um, The color I chose chose is red dragon fire Or dragon fire red something like that um, So hopefully um, We can get this done. I'm still waiting on Edward. I uh, had time to prep everything and set all the tools up uh, so yeah, shout out to PX Wraps for hooking it up with the with the wrap. Uh, they were super cool. Uh, oh shit, here's Edward. <laughs> What's up, man? Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've recorded and uh, originally my plan was to show you or show the process of me wrapping the Z, um, but there was a deadline because I got invited to to this grand opening to the store and then they wanted me to bring my car. So I've been kind of in a rush to, to wrap it. Um, so that, I haven't really had time to even show you guys the recording or like me recording or anything. Uh, so, so far, this is what I've gone. The front bumper is done, like almost done. I still need to finish getting or doing those holes um, this side too. Um, but most of it's done. Uh, I still need to do all the flares, uh, I want to do some stuff to my diffuser. Um, I'm about to lay that pillar. Um, oh yeah, I still need the side skirts. Uh, I still need this fender. Uh, I just did this pillar yesterday. Um, but yeah, I still have quite a bit of work to do. I mean, the car is completely taken apart. Um, the bumper still needs to go back on. It's like loose. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of work left. 
uh, at least enough material for me to record for you guys. I still have this. Um, so hopefully I can do some recording and uh, I can show you guys the end product and show you what I drive or what my project has been this whole entire time. I mean, I, can only, I only have a little bit of time to work on it. Uh, I mean, I go in at work at five in the morning and I get out at 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, so it's like kind of hard to come home after a 10 and a half hour shift and like work on it. Um, I mean, it's definitely really stressful, especially with this deadline. Uh, so, I mean, hopefully I get it done by Sunday. Today is Thursday. Um, I'm going to try to get most of it done today. And hopefully tomorrow I have time to, like, assemble it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll show you the process of me wrapping that pillar. I mean, it's not that hard. Um... This is axis, like a like a spare part or a spare sheet that I ended up cutting off from the rear bumper because I cut an eight foot long by three feet tall, I believe, sheet. But I had extra uh, an extra bit of like leftover, so I'm using that to do both pillars actually. So I'm taking care of both pillars with the extra from this bumper. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming along. Uh, you can see how I did my fenders. So right here, usually people like, um, they notch it and then they fold them up and then they tack weld them. Um, I didn't want to do that. I mean, I don't think that looks clean. I think that will you'll have like leaking issues. Um, so I did not want to do that. Uh, what I did was I cut it all the way and um i so it was completely open and uh so what i did was i lay out let's let's imagine this is a tape i laid out a tape like that and then i literally grabbed the marker and i painted the very edge of it the very edge of the tape like let's imagine there's a tape right here and then i painted the same thing on the other side then I grabbed that template, I cut it out and, and I use that as a template. And I have some pneumatic shears. Um, so I had a sheet of metal, oh, there it is, it's the stainless. I had a sheet of metal and I literally placed the tape, the, the template on the piece of metal. And I just sheared it out and uh, I placed it and it fit perfect. Um, so it's like one big plate, like it's solid. You can even hear it. It's all, all the way through. Um, I mean, and then I just welded it. Uh, I, I tried being careful. Uh, if you guys try to go this route, be careful because if you put too much heat onto this metal, you're gonna warp it and you know, everything. Uh, but luckily, uh, I'm a welder. Like that's my career. And uh, I was able to uh, make this and it looks much cleaner. I feel like it's gonna be much, much solid. Like, I mean, this is a lot of support for this and to seal it so it was completely sealed completely welded and to seal it on top just in case i use this um this metal tape that i got at uh, home depot uh it's at nashua um and it's like for sealing roofs and stuff um so i laid that i laid that right there that's why it looks like Shitty it looks like it's the wrap, but no, it's just that tape that I put under it um, You can kind of see it right there um, So yeah, I did the same thing for both sides um, So I'm just uh, showing you guys just in case you guys want to do it a much cleaner way uh, It's somewhat a little bit harder, but I mean like look my wrap just lays over it really nice and I'm not gonna have any issues with this peeling uh, this quarter panel is going to be pretty solid. Because um, I was really afraid of like me wrapping it and then it getting garbage in there and then peeling. Um, so it's sealed pretty well. Uh, so anyways, enough with the talking. Oh shit. Enough with the talking. Uh, let's wrap this thing.
So how I'm gonna do this is I'm literally just gonna peel it. Make sure you like prep the part before before you wrap it up. I'm using this microfiber towel. Uh, I bought some clay bar. Uh, the magic clay. This is the little bar. It works perfect. It took all the garbage off like that. I already prepped it. This part is like so smooth. And uh, I have some alcohol in the spray bottle uh, to make sure I get rid of all the oils and stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure you prep it because or else uh, it's probably not. It's probably, the wrap is probably not gonna last that long. So I'm gonna lay it down right here. Make sure it's far back enough so you can like wrap it under it into the, the little panel. Now, don't be afraid to like manhandle the fuck out of the wrap. I mean, just don't stretch it so much with the heat gun because then you, you will get discoloration. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna put that right there and then I'm just gonna work all these wrinkles out. Um, when you first lay it, try just to like lay it down as flat as you can. Don't use the heat gun. Um, um, that way, the material is like all the, the, the right size and stuff. Now, I took this part off, but you don't need to. It's probably, I, I, I thought it was gonna be easier to wrap it while it was off the car, but no, it's, I didn't even try it because I realized how hard it would be um, to wrap it. So what I'm doing right here is, okay, so um, there's a wrinkle right here and this this half is good. Uh, so I literally just push down on the wrap right here. That way when I lift uh, this to pull this wrap, uh, crease out, it's not gonna lift the whole thing off. It's just gonna lift from where I marked it. If I wouldn't have done that, it would have probably just lift the whole wrap all the way to over here. Uh, so yeah, get it nice and smooth like this. Don't, if you have wrinkles, work them out. Don't try to heat gun them before you, you know, before you start laying them out. So now, I got a little bit of water left. Uh, I'm gonna go for my squeegee. Let me get a time lapse going. So this is how it's looking so far. Um, I just uh, tucked it under that seal in there, and you can't even see it, like the wrap, but it's like in there. Um, this seal is gonna keep it from peeling too. Um, this corner, 
I'm just gonna heat gun it and wrap it to itself. It's gonna be covered by the fender, so it doesn't matter. Um, but right here, I literally, what I did was I, you can't even see it. Uh, okay, so this is the cutout I did. This is the seal right here. That's the seal. Um, so what I did was, uh, I just went with the top of the squeegee um, and applied a little bit of heat and I just pushed on it and literally went throughout the whole seam um, to mark it out. Um, that way, when I cut it, it's like, like really good cut. It's kind of into the, into the seal and you won't see none of the color of the car. Um, and then for the back right here, um, I'm literally gonna peel this off, but first I'm gonna apply some heat with the heat gun. And I mean, you can kind of see uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna apply some heat, push it in a bit, um, peel this up and then pop open the trunk or take this part off. I mean, it's, it's loose, it's, the door is holding it. And then just wrap it to itself as well.